Mo here with Predator Masters, bringing you another episode of our Predator Hunting 101 series. In this video, we're looking at an overhead view of a old, overgrown farm that's been let go wild again. And this area was really attractive to us looking from the overhead view. So we've got an active road there running top to bottom, north to south, and then we have an inactive road that's running left to right, which is our east to west. So one of the reasons I like this stand was that north to south road. We're going to use that road to kind of hem them in and push them over towards us. Now we've got that overgrown field out there to the east, and normally people would be worried about that. Uh, in this case, I'm not too worried about that because the wind is coming in from the east. So what I expect these coyotes to do is to try to swing downwind, and I don't think they're going to cross that big wide open area out there. So what I did in this case was let the coyote's natural behavior set up our kill zone here in this little tight area, and we're going to let them funnel the coyotes right into us. So with that big wide open area kind of off the menu, uh, we really have just a couple of, of approaches that these coyotes are going to make. One of the approaches is going to be up along the inside edge of that big wash. The next one would be directly up the center of the wash. And the third possible or probable approach would be on the far side of the wash. So this is the area that we're going to work. So we've circled the area right there on your screen, and that's where we're going to be putting the call out. Now some guys might be worried about the wash itself or the far side of the wash because you can't, really can't see them. We don't need to see them because we know that with the wind coming in from the east that the coyotes are likely either going to come up out of the wash a little bit early or they'll come out of that wash and head straight into the wind. So we set the call out away from the wash to try to draw the coyotes out to try to give us as many chances as we can to try to line up our shot. So here's how we're going to set up our stand. That's me, M, and then I got my collar out in front of me and then my partner off there with the P. My partner's there in case one comes up out of the wash straight up towards the side of the call because I've got some bushes there to my right so I really can't see that area as well as I would like to. And then I'm kind of overlooking the call with about a 45 degree angle there off to the right. Now again, all hunters set up a little bit differently. I know that in the areas that I hunt, the coyotes tend to swing downwind of the call. So they'll come up and swing downwind to take a look, but then they usually like to approach from the side or even slightly behind the call. So I've got the call facing straight out away from me so that we're going to try to force those coyotes to swing over there and kind of work that edge of the wash and, and that's going to help hem them in and maybe give us a good shot at one. So we're going to jump ahead into our stand here. At this point I've already played my rabbit calls and now I'm working some bird sounds and I can see in the distance some crows and that got my attention that direction and here comes our coyote on a string straight in at the call. So this coyote came out of the wash a little bit earlier than what we thought might be possible, but that coyote is coming in on a string heading for the call, which we really didn't anticipate, thought it was going to swing downwind, but that's fine because we're set up in such a way that that coyote has given us a great opportunity to line up a shot. Now I like to play the percentages. Yeah, I could take a shot at this coyote while it's on the run, but I generally want to try to freeze them so that I can get a much much higher percentage shot on this coyote. So I'm going to go ahead and try to freeze up that coyote by throwing out a little bit of a howl. Oh! So what do you think is going to happen? I've thrown out this howl. Now try to read that coyote's body language. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did wrong in this stand. I know in Predator Hunting 101, it seems like we've done everything right. You guys keep seeing some good footage of coyotes going down. In this case, gentlemen, that didn't happen. I'm anticipating that coyote freezing, and I could just picture a nice shot right straight through that chest, dropping that coyote, crumpling it up, and unfortunately, my mind starts playing tricks on me. That's what I expect to have happen, so I am not at all ready for what's about to happen next. So the coyote breaks to the right. I wasn't ready for this at all, and now that coyote is heading for the wash and is going to get out of my kill zone. 
So now I have a choice to make. It's not stopping with the howl, so I have no choice now but to go ahead and start trying to take some running shots at this coyote. Again, I wasn't really ready for this, so now I'm behind the eight ball. I'm trying to play catch up, and I start taking some shots at this coyote. Okay, full speed here. Coyote breaks to the right. Here comes my first shot. See what happened there. Second one. Third, fourth. Coyote's out of here. Okay, my first shot, I pulled too fast. I, I thought I had to get ahead of the coyote, and I overswung. Second shot was into a tree. I didn't see that coming. Now I can't figure out where the coyote's trying to go, if it's going to break right or left of that tree. So far, I haven't done very good trying to figure out what this coyote's thinking or what it's going to do. So I couldn't quite tell if it was going to go left or right of the tree. I'm trying to hedge my bets. There goes the coyote. If I had read the coyote a little bit better, I might have been in a better position to get off the shot there as it starts heading out to the walk. But I didn't, and so this coyote lives to fight another day. So what lessons can we take away from this? This is a classic situation where I misread the coyote almost from the get-go. Uh, my mind was telling me that this thing was going to come in. As soon as I howled, it was going to stop. And I really wasn't in a position to handle what the coyote actually did. So in this case, gentlemen, take this away. Take a lesson from this that coyotes are very unpredictable. It's part of what the draw to the sport is for me is the unpredictability of the coyote and coyote hunting in general. It's very exciting, it's dynamic. Uh, I tend to do it pretty well, but I do make mistakes. And this is a classic example of just misreading the coyote from the get-go. So take that away, gentlemen. Good luck, good hunting, and enjoy this Predator Hunting 101 video.